This is a list of everybody. We'll leave it up here. And this is, a, this is presidential honors. And then I'm just going to purchase my name, Jordan. Uh, and then this is the other people. Right. Well, can you bring it in? Can you ask Ms. Lee to bring it back? Give yeah. you a white envelope. She has been talking about the big story. Uh, and then morning. Count down to remember to add. So the teachers can sit can sit in this area, right? Yes. Yeah. I think it's here for no, the... No, it's here for ROTC. Yeah. It's going to move after. Yeah. ROTC uh -huh. asked for it to yeah, be over here. ROTC is going to be here. Yeah. ROTC needed it up, and then the band needs it back. We got it all under control. Yeah. And a pen just in case. Senior sponsor, you've always sat up here. Yeah. And I have it up here. Um, so she can know. All of the department awards are listed right here on a piece of paper. Okay. So they're all here. Woo. Everybody. Is this yours? For social, it's just two. Yeah. You want to give her a cut? Let her know who they are. They're right here. We have a, I don't know if you wanted it, we have what we call an award script, and it shows you, you're pretty high up in the program though. Good morning. And we'll call your name, and you'll come Good up. Good morning, you. everybody. Okay. May I please everybody's attention? Thank you. Students, in the back of your seat is your name tag. Please remove it. down the college that you are committed to and the scholarship amount awarded to you. We sent out a link and we didn't get everybody's response. Once again, the name of the school that you are committed to for this fall okay. and the amount of the scholarship award. Good morning, good morning and welcome.
to the 2022 Gaither Senior Achievement Awards. We are so excited to have you here with us this morning to honor our wonderful seniors and recognize their fantastic achievements. My name is Marla McQuay. I'm the guidance department head here at Gaither, and my colleagues and I will be guiding us through the ceremony today. Please rise for the presentation of colors by the Gaither NJROTC, and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I would like to introduce Ms. Wickham, Assistant Principal of Curriculum, to give a brief welcome. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of your principal, Mr. Tommy Morrill, and the entire administrative team, I would like to welcome you to Gaither High School's Class of 2022 Awards Ceremony. I am Rebecca Wickham, I'm the Assistant Principal of Curriculum and I like to think of myself as Mr. Morrill's right hand man. In writing this welcome address, a recurring theme of time kept coming to mind. How time can move slow and fast simultaneously. How the day to day of your last 13 years felt arduous sometimes. But at the same time, you're here about to graduate. The time that you've put in to get here, you've all spent countless hours studying, participating in extra and co-curricular activities, and achieving great things, which is why you're here celebrating today. The thousands of hours of community service, the hundreds of applications that you submitted to achieve over a million dollars in scholarship monies. All of that took time. Your family's commitment to you, driving you to those activities, supporting you in your games and your contests, your recitals, your competitions. A little bit of nagging here and there to get it done. But all of that was so much time. The time your teachers and your guidance counselors spent working with you to help cultivate you as a learner and a person. All of that time has led you to this point. And now you're at a very exciting moment in your life. It's time to congratulate and celebrate all that you have accomplished. So take some time to savor this moment because the great Ferris Bueller says, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop, around, stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So congratulations, class of 2022. It is time to honor you. And now I'd like to introduce our esteemed guidance counselor and MC for the day, Mrs. Kelly Jo Matos.
Good morning. I just found out that I was an MC, so um, this may be fun and rocky, but we're going to have a great time because this is a great celebration. So thank you, Ms. Wickham, for your special words, your inspiration to our students. Um, we do have a great presentation from our music department. We have the band who's under the direction of Mr. Lewis Alvarez and Ms. Dell, the chorus under the direction of Ms. Cleveland, and the orchestra under the direction of Mr. Hegland. So they will be performing for us and entertaining us. Thank you.
the public school career, and this helped them with the house.
thank you for all the wonderful performances. I know some of us haven't been out to concerts yet, so thank you, Gaither, for allowing us to have a little concert for free, which was nice. These are the most talented students I've ever seen. I've been in this business for a long time, and Gaither produces so much unity and so much um, community. They're not just out here performing and singing, they're also in their community doing stuff, which makes G great Gaither a great place. So thank you to all of our f phenomenal people and all of our students. I would now like to introduce Ms. Sarah Brogan from PTSA for a special presentation. PTA is the oldest and largest child advocacy association in America. For 125 years, PTA has worked with school communities and decision makers improving the education, health, and safety of all children. We speak with one voice for every child through our values of collaboration, commitment, respect, and accountability. Here at Gaither, our PTSA board has successfully assisted in many ways, including providing teacher grants, organizing homecoming and prom closets, selling spirit wear, conducting blood drives, assisting with backpacks of food, feeding the staff on conference night, and sponsoring a scholarship for graduating seniors. This year, we are pleased to present scholarships to three deserving seniors in the amount of $500 each. Francesca Aldrich. Alyssa Garza. and Brayden Smith. <laughs> Thank you, you Miss Brogan, and congratulations to those students. I will now be introducing our presenters for scholarships. Oh. A student popped up on the, the PowerPoint. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so I now will be pre uh, presenting our scholarship presentations and special awards. For our first presentation this morning, I would like to call up Lisa Johnson, CEO and General Manager of Seminole Electric. They are our neighbors. They are right across the street from us. If you put your GPS in waves, it takes you a whole nother way, just FYI, it took me in some neighborhood. But they have been a great supporter of Gaither for many years, and we appreciate all that they do for our community. Miss Lisa Johnson. Thank you, Kelly Joy. Good morning, everyone. And, and I, too, want to say thank you to the students and the wonderful musical performance this morning. Kind of took me back to my own orchestra and concert choir days. Been a long time ago, but that was really nice, so thank you. So Seminole Electric Cooperative, located right across the street from your school, is very happy to have Gaither as a neighbor, and we are especially proud to award a scholarship to a graduating senior each year. This is the 20th year 
that Seminole will partner with Gaither to assist one of its graduates in the continuation of their studies. Our scholarship, awarded to a high school senior who has made a great impact in the community, consists of a one-time award of $2,500 payable to the college or university of their choice. This year's recipient of Seminole Scholarship has not only excelled academically, but has also demonstrated a strong commitment to her Tampa community with 46 logged hours of community service at the Tampa Bay Humane Society. This year's recipient has been accepted into Florida Atlantic University for the fall 2022 term. It is my pleasure to present the 2022 Seminole Community Excellence Scholarship to Janae Evans. Thank you, Ms. Johnson, and congratulations, Janae. We truly appreciate Seminole Electric and their continued partnership. Next, I would like to have Ms. McQuay come up for some special presentations. This morning, I would like to take a moment to recognize the recipient of the Bailey Family Foundation Scholarship. The Bailey Family Foundation was established on May 8, 1997 by Ron K. Bailey to improve the availability and quality of post-secondary education. The Bailey family wanted to make the dream of quality education available to more people. With the goal in mind, they funded a nonprofit organization called the Bailey Family Foundation. There is only one recipient from each high school in Hillsborough, Polk, and Pinellas counties. This student will receive a scholarship totaling $20,000 over four years. Please help me in congratulating and welcoming to the stage Dylan Mazur, this year's <laughs> Bailey Family Foundation recipient. Dylan, he, but he'll be getting $20,000, so that's better than a certificate, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> now I would like to recognize a few more scholarship winners. Every year, the Hillsborough Education Foundation awards many scholarships ships to their local donors. Students from all across the school district are chosen as recipients for scholarship funds. This year, I am proud to announce that there, here at Gaither High School, we have five winners receiving a grand total of $6,500 combined. The donors of our recipients include the Tony Sled Memorial Scholarship, the Jerry Scorer Scholarship, and the Mayor Dick Greco Scholarship, to name a few. Please help me in congratulating and welcoming to our stage, Loriana Figueroa. <laughs> Jalen Parton Gomez. Laisha Behar. Chauncey Johnson. And Joshua Ramos.
Each of these recipients have each won a scholarship between $1,000 and $1,500, which the Hillsborough Education Foundation will be giving you more information about very soon. Thank you for being scholars and thank you for your commitment to Gaither High School and your community. Next, we have our cla your class, not mine, my class was 1992. <laughs> your class of 2022 senior sponsor, Ms. Trumbach, who would like to present the Senate Awards. Good morning. I feel like I could use my teacher voice and not have the microphone. What do y'all think? Some of you have heard that teacher voice. All right, first of all, parents, please be sure you continue to check Canvas because I am throwing out those emails with information sometimes a few times a day. So if you are monitoring your student's Canvas account, great. Students should be checking their account. I still have caps and gowns locked up that haven't been picked up. I still have some t-shirts from about October that haven't been picked up. So I'm gonna have to use that teacher voice really soon, seniors. All right, the people that work behind the scenes, maybe you see them, maybe you don't. They are always in my hallway. They spend countless hours trying to give you guys pieces of information, trying to make banners for acknowledgements. We at Gaither are nonstop with people who need to be acknowledged. I am amazed at all of the accomplishments that the class of 2022 have earned. Like, we are good. You guys are good. So, give yourselves a round of applause for all that good. All right, my senators, my officers, y'all were elected to this position by your peers. So just come on up and have your moment in the spotlight. Skylar Dallas, one of our senators. Megan Shelton, one of our senators. Andrew Cooper, treasurer. Jordan Pugh, class secretary. Emily Sanchez, class vice president. Last but not least, your class president, Lily Anderson. Have we seen Jordan Pugh? Is she out there anywhere? They almost beat Armwood last night. She might be tired. Like we did a good, good job. All right, Lily. All right, one more time. Thank them for doing what you need to have done. Class of 22. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you so much, Ms. Trumbach, and thank you to our Senate leaders for helping to guide here at Gaither. We will now proceed to our academic department awards. So at this time, I'm asking that all of our Department presenters, please come to the stage. If you're a teacher here to present, thank you. We're gonna, be, we're gonna begin with Ms. Linda Taylor, who will be presenting the Perseverance Award. I'm going to present Ms. Taylor's awards on behalf of her department. Our Perseverance winners.
Spencer Brom. <laughs> Fernando Jimenez. Kevin Likely, Montana Murphy, and Trenton Robinette. These students have worked hard and they show a lot of effort and they are a part of our Gaither community and it wouldn't be the same without them. We thank them for their commitment to coming to school and trying hard each day to be their personal best. Your class is such a new city. Congratulations to all of our Perseverance Award winners. Thank you. At this time, we have Mr. Alma representing our English department. Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Mr. Alma, and I'm representing the English department here at Gaither this morning, and I want to welcome the, the friends and families of the students that we get to celebrate here this morning and to let you know how honored I am to get a chance to present the English department awards to a group of students that truly represent what makes Gaither great, a group of students who are not just great academically but are great people. Um, they represent themselves in this school with intelligence, kindness, and they're the true leaders of this uh, student body. And with that, I'd like to recognize a, a few people here, some of whom I've had the pleasure of teaching and, and others who were nominated by the other English teachers here. First uh, student I'd like to call up to the stage is Casey Boucher. Awesome job, Casey. Uh, the next student I'd like to welcome up to the stage is Lauren Whalen. Uh, the next student we'd like to welcome is Lean Nguyen. Hey, congratulations. Uh, the next student we'd like to honor is Jordan Durley. Congratulations. Awesome job. Uh, the next student is Skylar Dallas. <laughs> Skylar, congratulations. Uh, the next student is Kelvin LeBeau. <laughs> Good 
treasures ahead. And then our, our next student is Michael Desom. Mike D. <laughs> Mike, awesome job. Congratulations. And, and finally, closing out the English Department Awards is Brianna Hernandez. I guess we're not done yet. Hold on. Two more, two more honorees. <laughs> Three, awesome job, congratulations. Oh, one more, one more. And uh, last one is Gabrielle Young. <laughs> Gabby, congratulations, awesome job. Let's give them all a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Alma, for coming and presenting. Next, on behalf of our math department, we have Mr. Healy. <laughs> My friend and beta sponsor. Thank you, Ms. McClay. We only have uh, one student that we're recognizing, and I guess maybe in math, we're not too good counting beyond one. <laughs> but. Uh, this gentleman is truly uh, one of the most outstanding math students uh, I've ever met. However, sometimes when you're especially good at math, you can kind of be pigeonholed and seen as a little strange, maybe almost kind of an extraterrestrial. But this young man um, really impressed me, not only because he, he came forward to be president of the Math Honor Society this year, but even one day in class, and not a math class, he was able to sit back and recount off the cuff, all the presidents from the current all the way back to Herbert Hoover. So there's definitely something strange about these math folks. But I'd like to join, uh, have you join me now in welcoming to the stage Roy Rodriguez. <laughs> Trumbeck, who will present on behalf of the Social Studies Department. Might I say the best department in the building? Yeah. How do you think Roy knew all that stuff? Social studies. All right. It gives me great pleasure to point out, to honor, to recognize the outstanding senior in AP US government, Malachi Buford Suber. Woo! Oh yeah, fives next week, fives next week. AP exams, five to stay alive. Yay, Malachi. More privilege, more honor, more recognition, outstanding AP Comparative Government and Politics Student of the Year, Roy! Come on up, Roy now, Rodriguez Monsignor, yeah! Again, fives next week. Fives, fives, Five. fives. Everybody, fives, fives, fives. And that concludes for social studies, the best department in the building. Thank you.
Thank you, Miss Trombad. No pressure, guys. Uh, you know, a five wouldn't hurt, you know. Do your best, though. Okay. <laughs> now we're moving on to our award. Miss um, Marlin will be presenting awards from Drafting Auto and TV Production. All of them. She's doing all of them. Thank you, Miss Marlin. Hello, everybody. So today I would like to take a moment to recognize some of the students that have excelled in our career and technical programs here at This young lady is the anchor for our daily show. She was also one of the two anchors appointed to do our news magazine show, um, where she served as the president this year. Um, she has a spot in the, she also has a spot on the Student Television Network Honor Society and several off Florida recognitions by the Florida Schol Scholastic Press Association. Um, so I would like to recognize Diana Hernandez. <laughs> the next student I'd like to recognize is from our agriculture department. She's a very active member of our ag program. Said, her teacher says she's a killer sheep showman, a great mentor, and a definition of what all FFA members should strive to be like. Um, so I would like to recognize Jessica. Uh, where's Jessica? <laughs> Jessica Ferreira. <laughs> Uh, the next student is our early childhood student. Um, she came here for Columbia her freshman year, and she has earned her child associate certification in just three years, along with learning English. And this is Miss Oriana. I would like to recognize our next student in our food and nutrition program is uh, she's an admirable classmate and a great citizen. She's always willing to help and is a great leader in our class, Miss Elizabeth Dunn. <laughs> this next student. I had the pleasure of teaching along with it, uh, his automotive teacher. He earned his um, AutoCAD certification in my class, and he has earned all ASC automotive certifications. He is also currently part-time employed at Jerry Ohms Dodge, where he's working on his future career. I'd like to recognize Caleb Finley. Our next student is in my class, uh, the drafting class. Uh, she came to me last year um, in, in, uh, in one of my advanced classes, and she had never taken drafting. She told me she would work hard, and boy, she wasn't lying. She went on to receive her certification from the American Drafting and Design Association along with her AutoCAD certification. Ms. Tewitt Trong. So our next student is from our engineering department. I'm not sure if he was able to be here today, um, but Mr. Mr. Ian Farmer. Yes, he was. <laughs> the 
just had your license in you. Thank you so much, Ms. Marlin. And now we have Ms. Plagueis coming up to the stage. Well, she's already on the stage, but she's going on us. She'll be on behalf of business department. Hello, everybody. I'm representing the business department today. I'd like to call a few students to the stage. Um, the first one, Alyssa Volk. <laughs> Alyssa it has been. Um, Technology Student of the Year. She has taken many, many of our business classes, including digital design, one and two, digital information technology, and web design. She's participated in the um, Gaither High School OJT program and working um, at Panera as an outstanding employee. She has earned many industry certifications from our CTE programs, including Adobe Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and MTA for programming and HTML and CSS. Um, Alyssa has continuously demonstrated the career-ready practices, such as applying appropriate academic and technical skills, demonstrating creativity and innovation, and using critical thinking for problem solving. She's modeled integrity and ethical leadership, and we wish her the best in her future career path. The next award is for the Customer Service Representative of the Year, and I'd like to call Matthew Odoriz. <laughs> Matthew has been in the Customer Service Representative program for several years. Yeah, it's under the business department. Yes, yeah, so um, um, he's worked with this. Congratulations. 